Okay, let's talk a little bit about Cisco AVC and templates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to filter for my devices that export AVC details. And it uh, looks like this guy right here is exporting some stuff. Let's go take a look and I'll run the default report first. All right, there we go. And uh, if we notice over here on the left, we're currently using uh, three different templates. This router actually exports more templates than that. Um, you know, for various types of um, ICMP, UDP, TCP. And if we go up here to the menu, this menu is intelligent based on what's being exported in the template. So we can see we have application delay, uh, type reports, which are based on TCP traffic, and down here uh, towards the bottom, we've got some UDP traffic um, for voice over IP. And what's important to keep in mind here is that Cisco um, gives you the ability to export both source and destination IP address for like UDP ICMP type traffic, um, different templates as well for uh, IPv6, and then the same thing for TCP, which is uh, client and server IP address, not necessarily source and destination IP address. So important distinction there because if I come down here and and uh, add a filter for like let's say a source IP address, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clean this a little bit too busy here in my graph, so I'm just going to go look at inbound only. Okay, when I come up here to, to uh, my report menu, you'll notice all those TCP options are gone because uh, the templates now are being forced to only templates that include source or destination IP address. Okay, that's all because of this filter down here. But if I delete that filter and apply my changes, go back up to my menu, and take a look at the reports that are available, you can see all those TCP options are back. At the same time, if I run a uh, client and server IP address report for TCP, and um, I drag my uh, client over there, then go check out my menu to see what reporting options are available. You can see the default report, which requires source and destination IP address, is no longer available. If I go to AVC, none of those jitter type reports are available. Okay, so that's important to understand that, and you can see we've dropped down to one template. But if I delete that client IP address, right there and apply it. Go back up to my menu and you'll see that I have all my uh, reporting options available to me again. So keep that in mind if you're doing AVC and you decide you want source and destination IP address um, that's going to be a factor um, versus client and server IP address uh, due to the different templates. And as you jump around to the different reports you can see I'm exporting two templates here but if I come up here and run the default report that it may change the number of templates being used for the, for the report and you can see of course that is the case there. Alright, thanks.